Welcome to our lab on routing information protocol. I'm using Cisco Packet Tracer, with a tracer which is a free download from Cisco. There's plenty of free tools on the uh, on the uh, YouTube there showing you how to install it. It's free and pretty easy to use. But I'm clicked on the network devices and just dragged up a router. I've dragged up uh, two 1841 models only because they've got fast Ethernet interfaces and it just makes it easy. You can drag up any router that's got gigabit interfaces. I'm going to use a crossover cable because that's the type of cable you would use to connect two routers together because I'm not using the switch. And it's given me a choice of interfaces. Either side I'm going to choose fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. The red triangle there that's inverted shows that the interface is down. So I do need to do some configurations. So I clicked on the device and clicked on CLI, which is command line interface. And when it boots up, the device will say, do you want to go into initial configuration dialog? You always type no, because otherwise it sends you into this horrible question and answer mode that doesn't really get you very far. The first command I'll type is enable and then show IP interface brief. I'm only doing this to show you what interfaces we have. And as you remember, we plugged our cable into fast ethernet 0 slash 0. The IP address is unassigned at the moment. So we're going to need to assign that because we're not using DHCP. So I'll go interface space F0 slash 0, which is short for fast ethernet. IP space address. I'll choose a, a simple one, 192.168.1.1. And I'll add the default subnet mask for class C networks, which is three lots of 255 and a zero with dots in between. I issue the no shutdown command, which basically tells the interface to come up. It will just need to see a signal on the other side before it does that. Now I'm going to type interface loopback zero. Loopback is a virtual interface that doesn't exist. So it's just going to be used for testing. And I'm adding a class B IP address of 172.16.1.1. Two lots of 255 this time, just the default subnet mask, and then two zeros. Now I'll we'll type end, and I'll configure the router on the right hand side, pretty much following the same steps, but this time the address will be 192.168.1.2. We can't use the same address twice. And in order for these um, interfaces to connect they need to be on the same network so config enable then config t for configure uh, configure terminal I'll type enable sorry I just uh, timed out there for a minute so config t interface f0 slash 0 again for fast ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.1.2 Three lots of 255 with dots in between and then a zero. No shutdown. All right, you can see the triangles are now green. So that means they're up and they can pass traffic. Now we need to test our RIP routing protocol and we need to see that the router is sent from router 0 to router 1. So we're going to do a configuration on the right hand router which is router 1. I'm going to configure the RIP protocol. This has to be on in order for the network in between the two routers to communicate. Now the directly connected network won't show us RIP. So router RIP network 192.168.1.0 is not a host we put in but a network address. On the left hand router, router 0, I'm going to put two networks in. So router RIP and then network 172.16.0.0 and network 192.168.1.0. So what should happen now is the two networks should be advertised. The Only the 172 will be seen as a RIP network because the 192 is directly connected. But we have to configure that one. Show IP route on the right hand router. And you can see the key up there, but R stands for the RIP network. And we can see the administrative distance is 120. It's one hop away. 
learned via 1.1 through the Fast Ethernet interface.